Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and for today's video, I will be doing another a day in a life because I love making this video and a lot of you seem to enjoy watching this. And for today's a day in a life video, I will share with you the actual task that we do at work so you would have an idea on what actual real world issues and IT tasks are. So if you are interested, please stay tuned for the rest of the video because I will be talking about IP phones and I will be unboxing a new new MSI laptop as well. So without further ado, let's get started with today's A Day in a Life video. So if you will be working in IT one day or you are currently working in IT right now, most likely your company that you're working for or the business you're working for is already using an IP phone because IP phones are more commonly used now than a traditional landline phone. Or if you are not working in IT yet and you're working for a company, most likely you have seen one of these phones or you're using one already. So as an example, an IP phone will look like this. This one is a Cisco phone, but there are different kinds of phone systems out there like Avaya phones as well. Cisco and Avaya are one of the main phone IP phone systems that most companies use. Those are the types of IP phone that I've worked with. I am not very familiar with the other phones, so if you're working with something else, please leave a comment down below and please share with us what kind of phone system you are using at work. So IT professionals not only work with computers and servers, we also work with a lot of devices that is using internet or can be plugged in with an ethernet cable and one of those devices is the IP phone. So if you're watching this video, you're probably wondering what an IP phone is and what is the difference between the IP phone that we use at work and the landline phone, traditional landline phone that we use at home. So I'll be giving you a quick overview on what an IP phone is and what is the difference between an IP phone and a traditional landline phone. So the main difference between the IP phone and the landline phone is that the IP phone uses the internet to receive and send voice data while a traditional phone uses landline to transmit analog signal and it doesn't use internet connection to send and receive voice data. So that's basically the main difference. IP phone uses the internet, traditional phone doesn't use the internet. And as you can see when we flip the phone, at the back it has an additional port that could fit an ethernet Cable. So that's an Ethernet jack right there, which means that we can plug in an Ethernet device so that the IP phone can use the internet for it to send and receive voice data. That's how it operates. It uses the internet instead of phone lines to receive calls and send calls. And maybe now you're probably wondering why we are using IP phones instead of the traditional landline phone that we used to have at home and in businesses. And that's because it has some main advantages over the traditional landlines. So one major advantage of having an IP phone is mobility. So if you have an IP phone, it is very easy to move and transfer the phone to a different location or a different office. For example, you have a manager that is going to move to a bigger and better office. He can just take his existing phone and move it to the new office as long as it has Ethernet port and Ethernet connection and you can plug it into the internet. That's all it needs for it to operate because if you are going to move a traditional landline phone, you probably probably gonna have to change the number and probably change the phone line. It's not that easy to move a traditional landline phone from one location to another because you probably would have to add another phone line to the office or the location which is more work and which costs more money probably to be adding more cable to it. Also the decreased cost is another advantage of using IP phones for businesses because as long as you have internet connectivity you can always use the IP phone no need to add extra extension numbers, no need to add extra cables for the phone lines or the phone system. As long as you have a switch that can power a voice data, you can have an IP phone set up. Okay, so we are now in our storage room where we keep the spare IP phones just in case we need to replace 
a phone somewhere or we need to set up a new one this is where we would take some of the phones and I would show you how we normally set up phones for a new user or for a replacement phone so here is an example of an IP phone that is currently working. This is actually my desk phone. So we have a Cisco phone. I forgot the model for this and I just flipped it and I wanted to show you that it is currently connected with an Ethernet cable right there and that's that gives it power because it's an IP phone it only uses internet to operate and power up so that's all set and all good once you have it plugged in with the ethernet and whenever we have to set up a new phone we usually need to find the settings for the phone and we go to the settings usually or actually the phone information okay so since this is an IP phone it would have an IP address because it's connected to the internet and what we normally need is the host name for the device as what we usually use in setting it up to give it an extension number and also the name for who will be assigned the phone and after we get the host name for the phone we usually put it in the system we use Cisco unity to set up our IP phones here it also depends on the company you're working for what phone systems you have some have a via phone systems and So the laptop that I just unboxed today is an MSI Raider GE66 and this is what it looks like. This is originally a gaming laptop but we are going to assign this to our editors because they would need laptops or machines that would be able to handle all of their editing and graphics and all the software. And since this is a gaming laptop, it has a dedicated graphics card that is the NVIDIA GeForce RTX which is a really good graphics card for gamers which means that it can also handle what the editing uh, software could handle and this is going to be a perfect laptop for uh, our editors because it is powerful enough just like a tower to handle their editing software so here are some of the laptops the editing laptops that we are going to deploy we have setup and image for our editors on the field we have all msi laptops and we already have disabled the rgb setup that they were complaining about so this is a good performing laptop if you really need it for graphic intensive software for editors for gamers for a live screen this can support 4k probably i'm not very sure about that but it can support a lot of the editing features that they have Okay, so I just want to show you real quick 
this software that is made for the MSI Steel Series laptop. So this is the Steel Series software that can be downloaded in MSI's website and we just install this here and no need for an account or email for this to use so this is what we use to control the lightings in our laptops here for the RGB so this one shows two features for the keyboard and the Aurora is for the pa lighting panel so for now it's disabled because that's their request but you can customize this here and it would change the rgb there like look if you are into rgb and you enjoy it just like me you can control it here i think that's pretty and you can do different designs like blue flash let's see what it looks like it's just blue i think that's fine that's decent but they want it disabled so you're just gonna keep this disabled for now okay guys so it is almost five o'clock it's dark outside it's almost time to get off i'm getting ready to leave thank you so much for joining me in today's a day in a life videos and hopefully there will be more videos to come and please comment down below on what you wanted to see in the other in another a day in life video i would love to hear your suggestions as well it is also the 30th of december which means tomorrow is new year's eve and since the first is gonna fall under sunday monday is our holiday off so we are gonna get three days off for the weekend it's gonna be a long weekend and we are gonna party so if you want to see how i celebrate and how filipinos celebrate the new year's eve you can check out my other channel it's called wonder charm it's a new channel where i post vlogs experiences and travel so please check it out if you're interested and i hope to see you guys in my next videos in more it tech videos and a day in the live vlogs thank you so much for watching and see you guys in my next videos